Hi girls! So today we're going to be doing another little art project. Uh, it's a little bit sciencey though. We're going to be working with shapes and animals. So in the post, either on Facebook or in the description on YouTube, you should see a link. That'll link you to some of the live streams that zoos are doing now so you can still look at their animals. So I want you all to go to that and watch the animal. Um, if there's nothing on the animal you pick, just pick another one. Some of them are nocturnal, which means they're uh, only really awake at night. So it may not be the right time for you to get to see them out. Um, I watched the tiger stream, so that's the animal I'm going to be doing. But they have giraffes, they have elephants, they have all kinds. So just pick one, and I will see you all over at my desk where I'll explain how to do the little art project. Alright, so hopefully you've watched your video and you've picked out your animal. Um, I watched the tiger camera, and one of the interesting things that I saw while I was watching it is that they really like water, <laughs> which is really funny. It was really funny getting to see them walk around and try to play in the water. Um, so now that we have our animal picked out, before you start any kind of art project, especially one that involves cutting and pasting paper, you want to plan it out. So I have my sketchbook right here, and I'm going to do a really quick drawing of a tiger so that I know what I want my piece to look like. Okay, so now that we have picked out the animal we're going to do, I'm going to be doing a tiger. I'm going to do a really quick sketch of like a tiger's silhouette, um, which is just if the tiger cast a shadow, what would the shadow look like? So that's what I'm going to draw for my shapes. All right, so this is a really tiny drawing, but I just used a photo from the internet um, of a tiger looking to the side and silhouetted it. So just kind of gave an outline and then colored it in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how to cut out your shapes for this. Okay, so if you're using a piece of paper to make your leaf shape, all I've done is I have two sheets of paper stacked on top of one another, and I folded them like this, and then I'm going to cut a leaf shape out of them. All right, so I did about six holes in my paper because that's about all the paper that I think I'll need. Always keep your scrap paper that you're cutting out of to the side in case you start working on it and you find out you need more paper. When you fold your paper in half like this, you actually are able to cut out more with one cut rather than having to cut out of each individual piece of paper. Um, so that's why I did that. And if you're having trouble cutting, always get someone older to help you. Um, make sure you're safe with your scissors. And if you're still struggling, you can always draw the shape on before you cut it out. You don't have to just cut it out uh, without drawing it down on the piece of paper first if that helps. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to arranging our little shapes into our tiger. And I will record that entire process for you all and kind of speak when I feel like there's something that needs to be said. Okay, now here comes the fun part. So I have my sketchbook off to the side where I'm just looking at the silhouette and our goal is going to be to make the silhouette using the leaves. Um, you don't have to worry about it having the specific features of a tiger, excuse me, a tiger because it's a silhouette. So you're just going to be focusing on the shape. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to kind of drag out all of the little pieces that I'd cut out before. Okay, and then I'm going to focus on the outline of the shape. So when I look at the outline of the tiger that I have, I can see that it's got a nose that goes down kind of like this and this. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do with my shapes. So that's kind of a nose shape. Um, and I will get back to you all when I've moved the camera over so you can see the rest. Okay, so up there you can see we have the nose shape. Now we're going to try to get the little bit of the mouth that kind of goes, goes in and then comes back out. So for that, I'm actually going to cut my piece of paper. And if you have a leaf, you can cut your leaf too. But I think this is a little too big for that piece, so I need to cut this to be smaller. And always save the scraps of paper that you cut off, because you never know when they may come in handy to fill in space. So I have my tinier piece, and that's going to go for the mouth. So I'm going to put that. Paper can be tricky to not get to stick to your finger sometimes. Right there! So now it looks like this. And just continuing that same idea while looking at my silhouette, I'm going to go all the way through, and I'll get back to you all when I'm a little bit closer to done. Alright, so we're starting to fill it in. I did use two pieces of paper for the ear, um, just so that it's a little bit thicker, and I'm just going to go down and finish what's left of over there. And I'll get back to you all when I have that. Alright, so I have 
made the outline of the silhouette of my tiger. Um, now you can leave it like this if you like how this looks and you can go ahead and start gluing. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get another piece of paper so that I can start transferring this over and gluing all this down. All right, so to glue these down, I just have another piece of paper and I'm just gonna take them one by one, put a little bitty dot of some glue on it and leave it to sit there. Um, and you're gonna wanna wait for it to dry and be really careful with it. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer all these over. And just to show you how much glue I'm putting on there, um, it's enough, it's not too much. I'm not covering the whole thing in glue because then it'll wrinkle up, but I am putting enough so that I know it'll stick. All right, so once you've moved everything over, you can go ahead and take all the other shapes you cut out and you can start filling it in. Um, I find it most fun to just kind of let them lay wherever, but if you have a specific shape that you wanna put them in, you can do that too. All right, and then once you fill it in, you have a little silhouette of the animal that you saw on camera. Um, I wanna see, number one, your animal, what you did. Number two, I want you all to tell me a cool fact about your animal. So my cool fact is that tigers can get up to over 600 pounds, and the smallest tigers will still weigh over 300 pounds. So they're a really, really big animal. Uh, let me know one fact about yours, and thank you guys so much for doing this along with me.